I'm 33, and two months ago I thought it's never too late to try something new, so I started gymnastics. I'd been to a few group classes, I'd played around in the soft colourful mats, and I'd explored and learnt what I could by myself. From previous life experience in many things, I think it's easier to focus on a few specific moves rather than trying to be a jack of all trades, especially when you have very limited information and knowledge on the activity that you're doing. So I've decided to focus on learning how to do a back handspring. I thought this was a cool move to learn since I can already sort of do a backwards walkover due to my flexibility in bridges. I have over the past two or three years tried to practice them alongside with my calisthenic strength training just to maintain that mobility throughout the body and I thought one day it would be useful if I ever got the guts to actually start gymnastics properly. Right, so here's month two. Don't expect any miracles from this adult beginner who didn't even do handstands and cartwheels when they were 10 years old in the park. P.S. I'm always scared of injuring myself, but one thing about me is that I don't give up. Four weeks ago, I tried to do a few jumps backwards on an elevated surface, landing on a very squishy soft mat to calm my nerves and getting a high five. I then tried adding a cartwheel just before to give it some momentum. But even though I thought I could do cartwheels, called round-offs in gymnastics, they definitely needed some work on their own too. I did quite a few of these with assistance from the trampoline and the extra block and tried to add a little jump at the end to mimic what I would be doing after the cartwheel. When I felt confident with those cartwheels, aka round-offs, we then added a big red block to help me with the back handspring, which helped me realise that sometimes I wasn't quite jumping high enough to get over. Now with beginner gymnastics, there are a lot of moving parts. I could have my hands and legs in the wrong position. If I don't jump high enough, I can't do the next part of the move. So as you can see, there is a lot, a lot of repetition. We also rotate from using different types of trampolines and squishy and less squishier blocks to do the same moves. I find it all so fun and moving my body in different ways that I don't mind the repetition because I know what my end goal is and I can't wait to get it. Although the move itself only takes about two seconds to perform, there are quite a few things my brain has to tell my body to do whilst doing it. So one of the things that I tend to forget is to look up at my arms and right down into the mat when I perform the move. And because I don't tend to do this, I don't know whether it's fear or instinct, I tend to round my back in the opposite direction, almost like I'm crawling into myself like an armadillo, instead of stretching myself out as if I were to do a bridge. Sticking my hips out instead of pushing them in. Another thing I naively overlooked with this move is that you need to have really confident, strong jump squats. The trampoline is great for giving me that oomph for the jump, but ideally I'd like to do this on plain floor or even concrete one day. Because I'm also going to be doing this move from a round off, I have to practice it with my arms up already, which sort of goes against my instinct to jump high and use my arms to help me with the swing. Anyway, apparently all those reps paid off and now I have a thinner red block and a less squishier mat to land on. Low key, very proud of this. I don't want to be the next Simone Biles, but watching myself improve even by 1% each session is rewarding. I'll leave you with a cool fact about gymnastics. Did you know the ancient Greeks prepared their young men for war by doing gymnastics? And that's it folks, I'll be back next month, but please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed that video and see you soon.